Why the Broad Institute? Because there are just amazing possibilities in science right now. What is the Broad? What is the Broad? Well, the Broad Institute has fundamentally changed our understanding of human history and the human genome. I'd say it's probably redefined the boundaries of science and medicine. The Broad is a new way of bringing people together. This is not a small academic lab. It's something different. It's out of the ordinary. And tackling large projects that aren't able to be done in the traditional research laboratory. The Broad Institute was created. There really isn't much of a model like it. At its core to be interdisciplinary. Chemists can exist with mathematicians and you know, cell biologists and geneticists. I think that that's one overarching thing we can say for the Broad. It's a big experiment in doing science and doing science in a very different way. It's really creating a new model and, and showing that it works. People often talk about projects and whether they should start projects and one of the criteria they have is, is this a Broad kind of project? The Broad already has contributed so much to large-scale biology projects like genome sequencing and the haplotype mapping and the cancer or, um, atlas map. You know, there's no question that's too hard to undertake. We're doing things for malaria that have never been done before. Mapping metabolic diseases, um, mapping infectious diseases. Trying to understand all the pieces that make cancer. We have begun to really change the field of psychiatry. On questions relating to schizophrenia. Bipolar disease. Different types of leukemias. Understanding diabetes. We've made progress against autism here. Crohn's disease. Uh, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis. Now a lot of people tackle those, but the Broad really brings together a, a team of people with great expertise and with a different perspective. If you can get the smartest people together and put them in an environment where they can do pretty much anything, it's explosive. The young scientists don't just want to work on a little part of the problem, but they want to work on all of cancer, all of infectious disease. So many people at the Broad Institute are very young, so it's a place where people who are young and have great ideas that are untested have a chance to really try out those ideas and see if they can make a difference. It's not just about the ideas that you have, but how you implement the ideas. And it's a lot about process, which is not exciting or sexy, but it's the most important thing of how do we do this and we do it right. If I could describe what makes the Broad special in one word. Hmm. You keep asking me the hard questions. Philosophy. Exciting. Change the world through the science that we do. D describing the Broad in one word is tough, but if I had to pick a word, I'd pick community. Innovative. Stimulating. Amazing. People. The amazing part is, you know, the people here that are working on it and how passionate they are. I can answer your question in four words. The people are brodacious. If I could describe the broad in one word, I guess I would have to say collaborative. The community is more than the sum of its parts. It's, it's fearless that people come here and they say, how are we going to actually make a big difference? And that's incredibly exciting to work with people who are always asking themselves, how are we going to make a big difference for, for people, for medicine? The Broad Institute, it's about bringing everybody together to let them be everything they can possibly be and take on the biggest problems in the world on behalf of humanity.